Hi guys, so in this video I want to talk to you about how is the best way I personally think to get started building passive income and on your financial future journey. So if you have been following my blog or if you've been watching my videos, then you'll probably know by now that building passive income and building my financial assets is super important to me. It's one of my big goals that I want to achieve financial freedom and I want to have assets that are strong and stable and that supply me with a good monthly income that I can live off of. I'm not very far into my journey, I'm about two years in now, but I've used the online world to start creating businesses that have helped scale my income, make me more income without having to give over so much of my time all the time so that I can really focus on building the financial future that I want and that I dream about achieving. And it kind of made me think in this video that I did a video previously, I mean I don't know if I'll have it up yet, but I have done a video where I've been talking about ways that you can start making money online for less than £100 or around about the £100 mark because I know that when I started one of the biggest hurdles that I had is I knew about building assets and improving your income and increasing your savings and learning how to use money properly but I looked at my bank and at the time you know I had barely anything in there and I didn't have money to just jump out and go start spending thousands investing in the stock market or in rental properties and I needed somewhere to start that I could scale my income that wasn't going to take me years to achieve like gaining promotions in a company that I worked for and something that I was going to enjoy I was going to enjoy putting my time and energy into these things and it kind of made me think in this video I want to talk to you about just getting started on your journey to your financial freedom because I know that the start is probably the scariest thing especially if you've never really thought that it's possible to create this type of income like passive income and income that you don't have to hand over consistently your time for and also if you're maybe not used to creating income online i know that when i started i had zero idea about making money online and what it takes to kind of scale businesses online and i just needed a place to start i needed someone to sit down and tell me what do I do? Where do I start going from feeling like I have no money and I have no experience in making money to feeling like I know what I'm doing, I know how to get towards my financial freedom and it's achievable. I think you see on places like Pinterest and blogs and YouTube, people talking about how they make 30,000 a month off of this one thing that they do and if you just follow them with that then you'll start making 30,000 a month and then you try it and you realize that that's nothing of the sort and then you look into it and you realize they have a social media following of over 100,000 people they've had three businesses in the past that they've tried and, and done various things with so they've got a ton of experience and you think I don't have any of that I don't know how to so much sell a button online, let alone sell £30,000 worth of anything. And so I kind of just want to make this video to kind of say to you that if you have little to no experience selling online like I did or creating businesses online or creating passive income online, then the best thing that you can possibly do for yourself is to start small. Start, I'm going to recommend the video that I... Have either uploaded already or I will do which is about 12 ways that you can start an online business or you can start creating money online for relatively low investment a hundred pounds or less and like how I did I chose I did my homework on different ways that I could make income online I could just start making a bit more money that was different than my normal nine to five and I eventually chose ebooks and I used what little skills I had with creative writing and some time and energy and the want to learn how to create an ebook and I started scaling a tiny little ebook business that I just put numerous ebooks out there. I started seeing some income come in and build and scale. And more than it actually making me income, it changed my mindset. It made me realize that this thing could be done. That building income that I didn't have to consistently work for every day was possible. 
And there is almost nothing more important, I think, in changing your financial future and improving your financial situation than changing your mindset. And that doesn't just mean thinking that you're going to make a lot of money or thinking that it's possible. It's about doing something, anything that can prove to you that what you were aiming towards in your giant goal is possible. And I don't think that comes personally. I don't think that comes from if I just think it, then it's going to happen. It's about taking little actionable steps that push you out your comfort zone. I didn't know anything about creating ebooks. I didn't know anything about selling online. I'd never sat down and created a front cover for anything. I didn't have massive graphic design experience, but I challenged myself to just do one thing just create an ebook just put it up on amazon and just see how scary that was how difficult it was and once i did it the first time i realized it was nowhere near as scary or intimidating or unrealistic as i thought it would be and it gave me the freedom to go i could do that again and again and again and the more books that i started putting out there the more passive income i started to build and the more i started to see that this thing that i was aiming for this big financial freedom goal was achievable and if anything it then made me turn around and start reading more about it and learning more about it and you do you kind of get that bug and that if it's for you and it's something you want to achieve you really start to build on that small beginning foundation of stepping out your comfort zone and just doing something and that's why I created Even Knows because it can be a really lonely journey, especially from a culture that doesn't tend to talk massively about money and about how a young girl or a young guy can start to improve their income outside of the normal nine to five. And I thought if I could just help one person take that first step like I did and achieve that first little goal, that inspires them to just do more and build a safe, secure financial future for themselves, one where they're not living paycheck to paycheck and panicking about the bills each month and terrified of spending too much money on that holiday that they chose to do because they don't actually know where their next amount's coming from. I just think from my experience in the past of stuff like that, it's just not a good way to be. I want to be in a position where I feel safe in my finances and more importantly I feel like that if everything fell down tomorrow and if I lost all my money that my skills and knowledge would enable me to turn around and do it all again and ironically I kind of feel like that's something that most financial gurus don't really tell you about or I've not personally heard many people who claim to be at the top of the game with finances talk about the fact that I've kind of in my little humble little journey come to see that what gives you the sense of feeling financially secure not free that's a different subject but feeling more financially secure is not the more and more and more and more and more money that you make even though that can help but more importantly is realizing that you have gained the skills that if it all fell down tomorrow that you could start again and do it faster and better and feel safe in the knowledge that you know how to make money and you know how to do it if you lose your job your normal nine to five tomorrow and you know how to do it if there's not another job that you can find in the next five months and that there's a way to do it that you enjoy and there's a way to do it that doesn't steal all of your time for you in your life and that you can actually appreciate a lifestyle that you build because you have your assets bringing in income for you instead of you working hour by hour. And I kind of just want to make this video because I want to say the first thing that I would recommend anybody to do on their little financial freedom journey is to just take that first step. And whether that is creating an ebook or whether that's starting a little Etsy shop or whether that's creating a little Amazon store or learning how to drop ship or learning how to create online courses or starting your blog, whatever it is that steps you out of your comfort zone and helps you realize that you can make money in different ways than just a normal nine to five and ways that free up your time and help you grow assets that are going to make money for you in the future. I personally think that's one of the best ways to start your financial freedom journey. So like I said, I'm going to create this video. And if I haven't already, the next video that I'll release will be the one about the 12 ways that you can start to earn money online and scale your income and your capital and your assets in the future. 
and help you take that initial step without having a huge amount of capital investment in what you do. And I'm probably waffling on way too much in this video, but it's because I just realized through the conversations that I have with the people on my blog who I have grown to really care about how much they are achieving and for the people who message me on my YouTube videos that fear is a very real part of anybody's financial situation. Nobody wants to feel like they don't have enough and more importantly nobody wants to feel like they're stuck and they can't improve their financial situation. And if you have any ability to do anything online, so much as click a couple of buttons, that you are in a great position to learn skills that will enable you to create products or offer services or whatever it is that will improve your financial situation and help you build assets in the long run. So I'm going to stop off with none and I hope that you have a great day. And if you want to do anything today with your financial freedom, then just take one step one small step towards your financial freedom goals. Whether that's going and learning about a way to make money online, whether it be affiliate marketing or starting a blog or whatever it is, or if you're already on your passive income journey or your financial freedom journey, just take that one step to go and learn something a little bit more than what you knew about passive income. So there's a couple of books that I have absolutely adored reading and one of them, which is the Anne Wilson book, is my absolute favourite and I'll put those below if you're looking for something to help broaden your mind on ways that you can make money and ways that you can manage your money then they're really good to check out but also go check out my blog if you're looking for more information on starting your own financial freedom journey or if you just want to know a little bit more about mine so I hope to see you in the next video and I hope this was just a little bit motivational or just gave you a little bit of advice if you just really don't know where to start and I will see you in the next video so I'll see you then guys bye